In this tutorial, I will show you how to work with variables and with the proximity behavior in CopperCube and how to open and close drawers. And what you see here is my scene, which I'm working with. And as you can also see, there are lots of objects in it. And I had to arrange it so that lots of objects are also stored in folders. Otherwise, it would be really, really messy. To uh, set up a folder, you uh, left click on the scene name, right click on it, create a folder node. The folder will end up at the bottom of this scene graph explorer, as this one, for example. And then it's just drag and drop objects in it. And this folder contains three um, objects. It's a bed table, which is empty. And the bed table drawer. And now it's visible. Um, and there is a drawer obstacle. Um, there's also a sign. A text which will show up uh, later on. The obstacle, perhaps you wonder why is there an obstacle just uh, close to the bed table when the player um, moves very very close to this bed table um, it shouldn't be too close to it so that there is a space for the drawer to open and also when the drawer opens it shouldn't collide with the uh, mesh of the object because then some nasty things could happen so that's why and this is a solid object it's just got a transparent texture on it perhaps first i should start talking about variables because you you really need to know some basic stuff about variables uh, because these are very very useful to to have um, when you're doing games of course um, I have set up all the variables in the scene so you can attach behaviors to the scene and this is important to do um, in all games that you make you have to um, have this behavior in the start which means uh, before the first drawing uh, before anything else happens in the scene um, you uh, define the variables I have defined them in a, s a separate JavaScript so this just says set the variable moving forward to zero set the variable drawer to zero this is just what it means and I've done this in a JavaScript because uh, it's much much easier than having to enter these uh, individually set to change a variable and here you enter na the name and you set the value to zero and then it's okay um, also, if you have a lot of variables and a lot of things happening, um, this little box here will be very, very full of things. You need to scroll in it to find, and it's not that easy to find which variable because it all have set to change a variable, and then you might have 10 of them. Which one is it? Is it the middle one, or the third from the top home yeah it might be a bit messy so this, this um, way of doing it with a JavaScript makes it a bit simpler anyway so what I've done at the start of the game is to um, define the variable drawer to zero so it has a value of zero so when I click the um, or when I mark the drawer you can see that I have 
two jello boxes around it. These are behaviors. Um, when you add a behavior, you press this plus sign. Behavior is triggered by events because something's going to happen when you do something. Um, and on proximity, do something. And then you can enter a sphere or you can have a box and you can define the size of it. And you need to also set near to what? So near you can change it to a certain scene node or the camera. And you also have to define when it's going to happen. So uh, something's going to happen here when you enter this box. Otherwise, leave. And here you set the action. What is going to happen when you enter the box? So let's have a, a look at what I've done. This is the inner box, which is enter. It has this size. And it says near to what? Yes, it's um, near to the collision box. Oh my god, what is the collision box? Uh, I need to explain this as well. This is the player. The player is up here. It's this one, actually. This is an animated uh, object, an FBX. Um, and animated objects do not have the possibility to... Um, um, get noticed by the uh, proximity boxes. So nothing will happen if you just choose this one, um, the player, if it is an animated uh, object. Uh, otherwise, if it is uh, any other object which is not animated, it could be the lamp or whatever. So if you move around the lamp, it will detect it. But an animated mesh will not be detected by the proximity uh, box. That's why I have a collision box. It's just an ordinary um, box. You can create it up here, a cube. And you have to set a transparent material, a texture to it. And you use that one as a collision box. And when you've done that, you just drag and drop it on the player. So back to the drawer. Behavior on proximity, do something, enter radius. So what we have here is when this collision box attached to the player enter this inner collision box, something will happen and there's two actions in it. First, it will hide or unhide, which is show a scene node. And this is when the sign enters the game. So it will make this sign visible. And the sign basically says um, open or close. Um, and then you can choose to open or close by pressing either O for open or C for close. And also, it checks if a variable has a value, do something. This is important. Uh, if the variable drawer, which is zero when you start the game, but if it is equal to zero, which it is, something should happen because you're inside of the box. So let's change the drawer variable to one instead of zero, which in my case means let's make it active let's make it an active recipient for your action so now when you are inside the box the drawer is one okay then but how to open the drawer how to make it happen then well when the sign is there and you actively press the key o for open then I have another behavior attached to the scene node. So when a key is pressed, do something, I think this one, yeah. 
when the key zero, L O is opened, uh, when its key is pressed down, um, three actions will occur. So first it checks, um, is the drawer equal to one? Yes, it is, because we're in the box, we've activated the drawer. So then something will happen. It will change the variable to two, because that means it is more than active. Something will happen to it now. And this is what's going to happen. You're going to move the drawer um, by a vector. You can choose other behaviors here, but the vector is the one that's gonna, that you're going to use because you want to move this one. And here you decide which object to move. You can move something else. Um, but we want to move the drawer. And this is direction and um, the amount in that direction that we want to move it. Um, and also move animated. This shows it moving. Otherwise, it's just going to be in that position when you click it. But we want to see it physically move. And the movement is going to take one second, which is 1000 milliseconds. So this is what happens when we press O. The variable is 2 and the drawer is moved out. But what if we want to close it? And what happens when we leave the radius? Let's see. You have the bed table drawer and it's the other on proximity behavior. Um, it's the same radius um, or size and it's um, the same collision box and it's leave radius this time. So when you leave this area, no, when you leave this area, the outer box, this is what it is, something's gonna happen. First of all, you will hide or unhide a C node. So what's gonna happen? Make invisible the sign which says, do you wanna open or close the the uh, drawer is made unvisible. Yeah, but the um, the drawer is still outdrawn. <laughs> so, in order to close it, you need to press the C button on your keyboard, which is this one, and then do it like this. So, when a key is pressed, C for close, and the drawer variable is 2. Then, um, you should change the position of this drawer. So, instead of being open, we want it to be closed. So, it has to be moved by a vector in the other direction, which is minus 2.2 in this case. So it moves inwards. And the time for movement of this animation is one second. So let's have a look at how this works in the actual game. When the scene starts, the uh, drawer variable is zero. As you move into this trigger box, the proximity area, um, the drawer variable equals one, so it's active and it detects you. And exactly at the moment when you press O, the drawer variable is two instead, because it's now it's now it's open. And you can leave this area. And it's still open until you go back press C because C makes the drawer variable 1 
again. <laughs>